Welcome once again to Cooper's Automotive Repair, YouTube fans and subscribers, and those of you just looking on how to do stuff. Uh, we got a 2010 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive towed in here. Uh, broke down on the road, overheating. Uh, we're going to find out why. It's going to pressure check it, check it, do a coolant check on it. So follow me this way. Uh, first thing we're going to do is fill the radiator up using this Lyles 24680 funnel, spill proof funnel. Comes with a bunch of different adapters. We want to find the one that fits our needs the best. It's kind of down inside that radiator. And like looks like a little radiator cap it goes over the top of it. And then get rid of the rest of the adapter. It has a plug if you fill it too much. Cap it off. I'm just putting water in it now because we know it's leaking somewhere. But you gotta get it full before you pressure test them. Sometimes if the leak's bad enough, you'll see it running out underneath. I'm going to take a peek underneath the vehicle. I don't see anything running out, so we will have to add pressure to it. I'm kind of letting all the air bubbles and stuff get out of the system. Still gurgling. That should be good enough to find out what's going on here. Spill proof, right? Spilled some. Find the right adapter on your pressure tester. Pressure tester pump. And let's add some pressure to it. Sunday and I got my shower already. No, it ain't Sunday. It's only Tuesday. And we can go to church. That thing actually fits in this radiator pretty tight without the adapters. And once again, See what happened. Okay, that's too big. I believe it must be a smaller one, unless they changed something on us. Well, that's not fitting either. Cooper's Automotive. Hey, buddy. I'm under the hood of it right now, testing it out. So, uh, overheated, is that what happened, right? Toward the front down well. Okay, so I just filled it up with some water now and put the pressure tester on it and locate it. Are we calling this soon? Thank you, Justin. Bye-bye. That's the customer calling about this vehicle. That's kind of ironic. 
I hope this doesn't come off of there again. I don't like the way that fits. He says that it overheated, yes, and that it was leaking toward the front. Obviously, it's leaking now. I'm going to grab a flashlight. It's not like going for creepers. Creepers, creepers. I'm skinny. Who's cardboard? I have long hair. Tied my hair up into the creeper. I didn't like that too much. All right. I'm going to take a look and see if I see anything. Okay, let's get this camera in here. Good shot of my cheek there, right? A water pump right there. And look at that. Stripping right off of the pulley. So we've got a bad water pump. Let me see. Definitely have water on that water pump. But it's not, not conclusive. I got something else leaking too. I see it coming right out of the back. Um, come back here with me. Again, I got a slide underneath it. Um, hang on guys, we got something going on back here, run down, nothing like a face full of antifreeze. I believe Dave, you can put the camera right here. This is the big leak. The water pump's leaking too, but look at all that running out. I'm trying to determine. I think this has got a heater core. Let's go back up top. Yeah, look at that, Dave. Can you get a shot of that? Coming off of that tin, see that? Our heater core is leaking out of the AC drain tube and it's running down. So he's going to need a heater core and a water pump. Who knows what else, but this is for sure. We've got to fix the big leaks first. Sometimes you get a, another leak that you didn't see, but that's quite obvious. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to call Justin back at Polaris, price him up on a heater core and a water pump. I'm going to put a thermostat in anytime one runs hot. I always replace the thermostat. 